It's demo time. This is a Type 1 14 foot Fraser door forward module with four inches of extra headroom above our standard. It's a total of 76 inches. This is Big Red. So starting with the chassis, it's a 2021 Ford F550 diesel uh, four-wheel drive. We're ordering our demo chassis four-wheel drive because we don't know where they're going to end up. Um, and I ordered this one as an XL trim. I typically order it as an XLT, but I really wanted to do kind of the black and red, the blackout look. So with the XL, it comes with the black grille and the black bumper. And then you'll see on the inside of the cab, it also comes with uh, OEM um, leather or vinyl seats. Uh, and then we wanted to, to wrap the bumper with the chevron pattern in reflective. So that looks really good with the red reflective with the black uh, bumper background. Of course, you got to do air horns on any truck that's likely going to go to a fire department. And then uh, you'll see as we go around the Whelan M-Series lighting package that we typically do. So we've got the big M9s up in the corners, M6s everywhere else with the blackout flange in lieu of the, the chrome bezel that we typically do. And uh, something unique to this vehicle is we're trialing uh, the FireTech scene lighting package. So this has a brow light on the front. It's got Guardian scene lights on the sides and then it has Guardian Juniors on the rear that we'll get to. So continued theme with the blackout package. You know, we did the, the wheels in black, so they come in gray and then we paint them uh, gloss black. We've got our Arkwright running boards, which come in texture coated black. And then we powder coated all of our diamond plate, which is traditionally that uh, chrome or, or gloss diamond plate, it's black. Uh, onto the module body. So if you'll notice on the, on the driver's side here, the, the four inch body drop that we've done for several years now on the passenger side, we've moved that over to the driver's side now as well. So this is gonna be a standard feature for us moving forward. So expect to see more of this uh, late 2021 going into 2022. Um, but you'll, you'll see four to the wheel, we drop the body down. What that gives us is taller compartment space. So for example, this is a stair chair storage. This is four inches taller now than it was previously. It's gonna be easier to get that stair chair in and out of this compartment. Uh, we've done gas shocks on all our compartment doors. We've got Chevron striping on here. Red and black looks really good. Uh, we're also trialing this texture coating inside the compartments. So typically Fraser compartments are just normal, a normal, um, just standard aluminum. So we're trying a kind of a dark gray texture coating material, uh, really just to dress it up. It's not really anything more than, than something to dress up the inside of the cabinet space. Adjustable shelving. The forward most compartment has the Zyco electric bottle lift. So again, you know, this compartment is also dropped four inches from standard, makes that a little, little less travel movement with this, but you just flip this up hit this button and this goes all the way out to the ground, load your bottle, bring it back in, box it into space. Got magnetic switching, LED strip lighting here makes this uh, very visible at nighttime. Your cast certifications on the door, door uh, panel here. This has uh, Kuzma auto eject 20 and 30 amp auto ejects here on the driver's side. Working our way back to the driver's side rear compartment. So we've got this set up for a uh, Firebase EMS service. So um, dry deck on the flooring, SCBAs in the corner. It makes it easily accessible. Uh, you've got room to you know put your, your bunker gear down low, slide your boots back underneath there. Um, again, same texture coating on the walls coat hooks, total of four coat hooks here in this compartment to hang gear from. On the rear of the vehicle, continuing with that blackout theme, so the normal three-piece bumper that we have, this is still three pieces, but we've actually, actually um, bedlined this. So this is bedline coating, it's got a grip, so when you're, you're walking on it, you won't slip and it'll, it'll wear really well, it'll be durable, it'll last a long time. And then also up high, I mentioned the Guardian Juniors, that's the Guardian Juniors on the sides of that amber flashing light. Backboard storage from the rear of the vehicle. 
This is a door forward design that has a full squad bench on the inside. So when you do that, you have space here to store two backboards and a scoop on this from the rear. This has MEPS, the MEPS power system. When you do the MEPS power system, this is an open storage compartment. Again, dry deck. Uh, some people call this turtle tile, dry deck. Um, that texture coating, chevron striping. We've also got uh, on the rear wheels, we have the Crossfire, um, the valve stem extenders. So it's a valve stem extender. It's a single point fill. It equalizes the pressure in between the, the two tires. And there's a check valve in there. Uh, so in case uh, one tire goes bad, it'll isolate that, the bad from the good tire, the good from the bad tire. Plus a visual indicator to tell you if you're within your, your set point PSI or not. Here's your inside outside storage cabinet, outside space down below with sealed uh, seal here from the inside patient compartment. So this can be considered a dirty sealed compartment. Uh, shelving, which is adjustable. There's also a power strip in here, the total of six 120 volt plug-in outlets. And the entry door going into uh, the patient compartment. One thing you may have seen, but I haven't highlighted, is these access panels on all of our entry doors and our compartment doors. So this makes accessing the backside of the latch very easy uh, to go and do service work, uh, make sure rods are connected, get in there and spray with any kind of lubricant. It's easy to get to that back, back side of the latch. Now we're gonna go to the inside of the vehicle. So we're inside our door forward 14 foot demo, big red. And you might not have noticed, maybe you have, this is something that's been um, anticipated. A lot of customers have asked for this. If you'll notice, I'm actually standing underneath the grab bar with room to spare. So I'm five foot 11. Uh, our typical 14 foot units are 72 inch floor to ceiling height. We've added an additional four inches of this truck. So now we're up to 76 inches floor to ceiling. So you can clearly walk, again, I'm 5'11", you can clearly walk under here. Typically, you know, you're having to watch your head in this area. So you've got plenty of space. So I hope you guys really enjoy this. This is uh, something I'm really happy to showcase this extra height. So on the, on the door forward unit, when you walk in, there's different cabinet options here. This is our three stack cabinet. So you've got a storage space down below with an aluminum door and shelving, two shelves in there, which creates three spaces, just kind of a miscellaneous storage cabinet. This is a Norcold refrigerator, um, which typically is not locking, but we actually fabricate this lock here. So now this can be a lockable uh, refrigerator. Storage space up high with two shelves, Austin hardware cabinet doors. Uh, Valor captain's chair with child safety seat. It's got the easy swivel mechanism. It slides forward and back. Um, it tilts as well, so you can tilt this back if you don't want to take a nap. Easy to use harness, one click harness. Auxiliary hot water heater. So every Fraser unit comes with 120 volt heater and air conditioner. Um, we add these hot water heaters on for all of our demos because we don't know where they're going to end up, but Northern climate customers that have cold winters, you know, this is a really a must have for, for them. It really gets it hot back here pretty quick. We've got 120 volt power, suction controls, oxygen, uh, interior lighting controls, dimmer switches, ventilation fan, thermostat for your air conditioner, USB power, it's high demand, your suction canister, stainless steel counter, cu countertops that makes it really easy to keep disinfected in here. And it's just a clean surface looks really good too. It's very consistent throughout the unit. Acrylic holder at the end of the action wall. Six point harness at the CPR seat. There's a lot of options, so I'm going quick. We're gonna run through them. Storage underneath the CPR seat, the latch, that is lockable. Again, acrylic holder back here at the action, uh, after the CPR seat. Fraser's legendary 120 volt air conditioning. On the ceiling up here, ultraviolet light. So this is for uh, sanitization, so um, there's a, a control box out in the electrical compartment where you can turn this on and off uh, when nobody's back here. It is wired to the doors, so you got to keep the doors closed. If you turn it on and somebody opens the doors by accident, it'll shut that system off. Wrapping around to the squad bench, 
So we, again, from the outside of the vehicle, your backboard store underneath the bench from the rear of the vehicle. So there's not um, storage underneath here. That's from the outside. Glove box, acrylic organizer, and then two seated positions, position one and two at the squad bench. We've got trash can, storage with the lid here. Sharps container just forward of that. Austin hardware cabinet door is sliding. Actually, you know, latch closed. Uh, they have inventory tags, you guys inventory tag. So that's consistent on all of our cabinet doors. Um, same here, your inside outside, again, those slide open. They latch close. Above the countertop, uh, you've got oxygen, 120 volt outlet there. Grab bar for easy access going in and out. Uh, on the flooring, so we did a gunmetal um, lawn plate two flooring. So typically we do a lot of lawn coin. This is more like a diamond plate texture and it's, it's a uh, gunmetal in color. So we just wanted to show you something different, a different offering. And we did not put any kind of cot retention in here, of course, because it's a demo. We don't know where it's gonna go. We don't know what's gonna go in here. So it's just a flat floor available for whichever cot retention customer chooses. So again, a lot of really cool options. If you wanna see this in person, we're gonna be demoing it. So you can email sales at fraserbuilt.com or you can call toll free 888-372-9371 and just ask for any sales associate. We'll get you the right person. Hopefully you can see this thing in person. It is awesome. Can't wait to show you. Thank you for your time.